Hey guys, welcome, welcome back, back to I Eat Pie. Today we have Burger, Burger King. King. Yes, we have some delicious Burger King that we have not had in a while. We also have ketchup and french fries, and yeah, it's just pretty. This is the Whopper, and we both have lemonade. Sprite. It's lemonade. It's lemonade. Uh-huh. That's why it tasted weird. When I thought it was Sprite, I was like, this is weird yeah, tasting Sprite. Yeah, they didn't have Sprite or, or root beer, so. Yeah. Okay, well, let's pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this new day, and I just pray that you'll bless this food to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, I'm really, I'm really hungry. <sighs> Me too. It's also so hot here. This is like the hottest it's ever gotten here. Mm. And we usually have fans on all over our house, but if we had the fans on right now, it'd be like really loud. Um, and you wouldn't be able to hear us. Yeah. So we're going to have to suffer in the heat just for like 15 minutes, 20 and the burgers aren't cold. Yeah. Yeah. So Our mom is going to be doing a uh, interview questions for older kids. So let's see what these questions are. What is the first question? Okay. First question is. Oh, here. Okay, number one. What do you like most about yourself right now? My improving artwork my eyes nice good answer good answer two what do you think your future job will be an athlete or an artist mm, I don't know but maybe um, live in some foreign country and work at an orphanage mm. I, I want to do that but But God might have different plans. <laughs> That's fair. Sorry, I was making a goofy, ridiculous face. <laughs> Number three, what is the funniest thing you've ever done? I was what thinking about today when I made mom laugh so much. Done? Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I made mom well, laugh so much. You got bopped in the eye from Aaliyah's water bottle. And so just your reaction was what was funny. He, like, fell over all dramatic. And then, like, five minutes later, he gets bopped by her toe and, like, the eyebrow or something because yeah. they were fooling around. And then just your reaction, you, like, threw your phone up in the air. It was funny. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Addie, go ahead. I don't really know. Probably one thing that I can remember was... At school, we had a while ago. Actually, we did. Um, it was Throwback Thursday, and we just me and my best friend decided to do a little photo shoot. And no, it was character day. It was character day. Sorry, no character day. And it was after school, and we we're doing a little photo shoot. We did the most ridiculous poses. Half of them which were blurry because it was me jumping on her back. Mm, <laughs> and yes. then her stumbling. So, probably that's for now. And that made everybody laugh? It made us laugh. And that's important. Laughter is good medicine. Mm -hmm. Question number four. How do you like to spend your time? Reading. Or hanging with friends or family. Drawing. Talking to Gideon. Um, snuggling you mean just with like being with Gideon in, in yeah. general. Yeah, snuggling with family. Um, playing outside in Dodgy drawing. Beach days. Mhm. Mm Number five. What are you good at? Drawing and basketball. I want to say singing. Cause yeah, I think I'm pretty good. And you enjoy it too. Yeah. Number six, what do you think will be different about the world when you are an adult? Excuse Gideon's grunting in the background. He's farting! <laughs> He's farting! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what do you think will be different about the world when you are an adult? I think there's going to be floating cars. I thought that too when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I don't know. I feel like there'll just be more and more groups trying to fix fix global warming or, I don't know, something with racism or just some more groups like that. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. My one. Sure, Lily, what do you think will be different about the world when you're an adult? I think they're going to make an iPhone 21 that's rainbow. They're going to make an iPhone 21 that's rainbow? Uh-huh. Because they're not like iPhone... They're making like iPhone 13 now. Oh. How's your guys' burgers? Mm, they're really mm, good. Mm. Good. What's in the them? Whopper. Looks like there's onion in those ones. Hey? Yeah, onion. It's just Pickles. a Whopper. Onion, yeah. tomato, lettuce. Are there pickles? They put pickles mm. on the Whoppers? Yep. Ooh, I'm excited for mine. Who are your best friends and why do you like each other? Malcolm. Nico, Noel, um, yeah, that's probably my top three. What about Tom? Oh, yeah, and Tom, sorry. But he's not at school, he's a neighborhood. Yeah, he's a neighborhood friend. Yeah. For me... Wait, 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 you didn't finish. And why do you like each other? Oh, um, because Malcolm is, like, me. So you like yourself? No. What's no. <laughs> because Malcolm is like fun and he's always jokey. He's very jokey, yes. And Watch has a good sense of humor. Mm-hmm. And he's athletic and fun to play with. And um, Tom, I've known him for so many years and it's just like we're brothers technically. And Noel, um, he's always just funny and like encouraging. And then Nico, because. He's just like very like he can be a very good nice gentleman and yeah. He's very kind. He's very kind hearted, yeah. Yeah, very giving it. Uh Addie, what do you um I haven't said the oh, who are your best friends and why do you like each other? Um, I kind of have this big group, so it's Ciela, Rian, Lydia, Rebecca, and Herman. Um, Rebecca because She's super sweet and super kind, um, and she's really fun, and she's very athletic. Ciela, because, well, so is Rian. They're both, the three of us are like, actually, everyone in my friend group, my best friend group, except for Rebecca, are bookworms. Cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, so. So you can all recommend books to each other? Yeah. That's nice. Lydia, she's athletic, she's sporty, and you can insult her, and she'll say something right back, because. Doesn't everybody? Yeah. No. no, some people can't take insults. Lydia can take them. It's really funny. Um, Ciela, she's just super kind, caring, sweet. She's very um, goofy. Like her mother, she she um, she is majority of the time soft spoken, but she does have a wild side. And Rian, cause she's just Rian. And same with Herman. Herman's just Herman. There's no words to describe the both of them. You just love them. Uh huh. That's fair. Um, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, you got to answer for both your parents. It says, what do you think your parents do at work all day? So what do you think Grant does at work all day? Grant um, trains people personally, and Mom takes care of Gideon. Yeah. Though I'm sure when they work together, they snark So what, what do you think he actually does at work? He teaches people how to become fit and not fat. But From some, fat he to has, fit. He has guys that uh, that aren't fat. They just want to get From stronger. From fit to stronger. Or he has guys that want to uh, be more athletic. From fit to athletic. Yeah. All the same. And what do I do all day? You Take care of Gideon. Take care of your kids. Mm. You're a mom. That's the best well, job. What do I do? You used Make to be a personal me. trainer. I, I still am a personal trainer. I just am not back to work yet. Because you have a baby. Yeah. A two-month-old that you can hear in the background. (laughs) Okay. Um, What's the most important rule that you know of? No lying. Honor your father and mother, and it will please the Lord. Love your neighbor as yourself. But, like, the rule in our household would be no lying. Mm Mm-hmm. No Never ever lie. No food in the bedroom, Aaliyah says. That's the most important rule. <laughs> <laughs> no 
no food on the couch. Yeah, yeah, no food on the couch. Well, because the one time, well, you guys have done it before, but I found blueberries in the couch. So Ew. exactly. That was Addy. Yeah, I always blame yeah. somebody else. Okay, uh, this is number ten and our final one. <gasps> What do you know how to do that you could teach me? You? Basketball. Well, no, you had to play basketball. Drawing. Well, you already know how to draw. No, you could teach me how to draw. That'd be a good one. Yeah, I could teach you how to draw better. Mm-hmm. What about you, Addy? I can teach you how to read. <laughs> Just kidding. Hilarious. Mom was the one who taught you how to read. Yes. I can remember when we were homeschooling, and I was like, I will teach this girl to read it if it is the last thing I do, (laughs) because you would just, like, guess at words, and I was trying to teach you, first of all, phonetically kind of how to read, and then, because there's so many words in the English language that you just have to memorize, so it was a combination of phonetic reading as well as... um, just memory. I still guess at words. And you, oh my goodness, yeah, it was, it was definitely frustrating, but it taught me patience, thank you, Lord. Um, but yeah, you did, you learned to read by the end of uh, kindergarten. I learned how to read pretty quickly, or I think. it was preschool you were reading, I don't know, either way, you were reading by the end of that year. Didn't I learn how to read pretty quickly, though? Yeah, you were super easy. I taught you phonetically how to sound things out. And then, um, yeah, same thing. We still went through a lot of the words that you just have to memorize. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you were, yeah, you were super easy. I remember. Because you wouldn't guess. You would actually sound it out. So then you knew what you were. Um. I remember we used to have, like, when I was in, like, grade five, okay. we used to do spelling tests. And I don't think I ever got anything wrong in that before because mom taught me how to spell and read so well. Well, and we'd always study, too. Yeah. Now it's kind of your own accord at school where you have to like study and know what you're doing and keep track of your homework, right, sir? Mm-hmm. Like always. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want one more question? Yeah. Um, hmm. What makes you really... We'll do two more questions. We'll end on a happy note. But this one. What makes you really annoyed? When people take me for granted. (laughs) (laughs) No, when people think I'm... No way. Salem annoys me. That's what you're (laughs) going with? (laughs) You just annoy each other. Hey yeah, guys, no, for real. It's what we exist for, to annoy each other. It's what siblings do. No, Addie's bossiness is what for annoys real. me. So when Addie's bossy, that annoys you. Okay. When you decide to be a little pest and hide my stuff. When Gideon cries all night long. He hasn't cried all night long since he was like, never. He's never cried all night long. Mm-hmm. He has never cried all night long. Mm-hmm. Nice try. Cried all night long that I could hear him. Okay, last question. What of your nicknames do you like the very most? Salami. Addy. Salami. That's no fun, Addy. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, you guys. Salami. Or Salamis. That's what people call me at school because we did this geography thing in Greece and there's a place called Salamis. Salamis? Yeah. Okay. No, Salamis. I just have a list that makes me sound like a T. Um, and Padre show of the day goes to Alyssa Epps. She says, "This might sound gross, lol, but I can't dip my fries in the frosty because I love, love the chicken nuggets and the chocolate frosty. You have to try it. Sounds gross, but very good." Whoa! We will try that. Thank you, Alyssa Epps. Chicken nuggy. Yeah, we will try that. In the frosty. Cold chicken nuggy. Strange. We will definitely try that. Well. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.